quick. I'm going to answer a couple questions about the ultrasonic cleaners. They are a luxury. They are in no way a necessity. Uh, some simple green and some tube brushes are a necessity. You must scrub and soak. Clean your tubes and tips when you're done before you put them through the pressure cooker. That's a necessity. The ultrasonic, uh, this is a half gallon size. You can use this. You can use the, the jewelry size ones as long as it's a 40 hertz or higher. Um, if it's like 35, you might have to leave it in there quite a bit longer. The so 40 to 40 Two is generally the common frequency, uh, which is what I do. Basically, I put uh, just some hot water in there. I use either like Bronner's or some simple laundry detergent or some simple green. Basically, you're going to add that detergent to those ripples, nice and big. And when you put your hand in there, it's got to hurt. It should be, you should not be able to hold your hand in there for so maybe but a few seconds. It should feel like someone stabbing you with needles. So you add the soap, probably about, let's say I put maybe two tablespoons in there. Okay, and what that does is it makes the water denser to allow the catatonic action, whatever it is, to travel. Uh, and then do its thing. Um, basically, what I do is I will set one cup with some soap in it and one cup with just water in it. That way, uh, that's where the real luxury of having a half gallon size thing works because I can, while I'm working, if I want to rinse out, say, colors out of a mag and I don't want to set up a whole nother mag just to do some light yellows and blues or whites but you want to flush it out really well because you can contaminate light colors really easy so you put it in set it in there flush everything out really well when I'm done then I'll drop all my pieces into one with the soap nothing actually drops into the tank I can put a splash of barbicide in with the detergent in there and keep that in there forever. Um, some soaps will start to coagulate. That's why I um, actually prefer stuff like Simple Green. You gotta use more of it though. Uh, probably like 50%, but it will last forever. Uh, you can put, like I said, you wanna put a splash of barbicide in there just to keep it sterile and not getting rancid. It'll, it'll be good forever. Never put barbicide in your cups. You don't want to get mixed up and actually dip your shit in there. That has to stay water. Uh, you don't want soap. You want nothing in that when you're going to be using it still. If you have a smaller unit, like a jewelry cleaner size stuff, you can throw all your parts into it at the end. No point in using the barbicide because you're just going to scrub it after it soaks for about 20 minutes. You're going to scrub it anyway, regardless. Whether I leave it in here for 10 minutes, you use a smaller one for a half hour, whatever, you're still going to have to scrub it. Do not use the barbicide because you use this, that's not what that's for. It's not for cleaning. It's for preserving the water and keeping it fresh, but it's really just for keeping stuff sterile like uh, grips. You can ultrasonic or uh, sterilize these and throw them into a uh, barbicide like I told you before, but it's really not for this. So that's really all that's for. Not necessary. It's a luxury. This is a necessity. Nice.